Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you guys, no, it is not a current household. I know we are looking at one of my current households, but I am not bringing you one today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel kind of like bad, like I feel like I'm letting you guys down or something. Uh, anyways, if you guys read by the title, if you guys read the title, then you guys would know that I am actually doing a tutorial, a little mini tutorial on how I separate all my current household families and other families, but mostly my current household families. And I've just been receiving so many questions lately on how to do this that I was just like, you know what? Instead of just answering each person, person by person, that I think I'll just, you know, make a tutorial video. So, you know, it's very easy. What I do is honestly not that complicated. I think you guys will be able to understand it really well. Uh, I kind of like blinked out there. I was like, I don't know what I think. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys are getting a few glimpses into my Calvin family, uh, a little sneak peek to things to come, but that's not for a while. But anyways, what I'm going to do is show you guys how I go about uh, splitting up my current households, how I have so many different Sims that are related, but they're all playable in different saves. So what I do is I just, of course, I'm here with the family, say I wanna go split some Sims up. I click on these little dot, dot, dots over here and head over to Edit Town. Uh, I usually just continue because I don't feel like saving all, this, all the time, you know, but you can save if you want to. Uh, and then I click right here on to the little green button of the family I'm playing currently. And there's this little option that says split up household and I click on that and then I decide which Sims are going to stay in the house and which Sims are moving out. So for now, we'll take Parker here, move him over, say we want him to move out and he gets this many simoleons, they get to keep this many simoleons, this is their house and then he will just be moved to the clipboard. Don't freak out, he's not gonna disappear, he's not going anywhere, it's all okay. So then I just accept and then it will load, it will process for a while. Okay, so it is all processed now, it took forever, but uh, then over here is where Parker is chilling. So he's not in my library, he's not saved, so if I quit the game right now, or like if I just like left, he would actually be deleted. So don't like leave the game or anything, just continue what you're doing, because we don't want to like lose the sim, because he is technically in not the house. He's not in the household anymore, as you guys can see right here. So what I do is I click this button here that says save copy to library, and it'll process again. It's a lot of processing, but it's totally worth it, and I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, and then this, once I know that he's saved right here, I then delete him. Are you sure you want to delete Calvin from the clipboard? Yes. So then what I do is save my game. I'm just gonna do this, because I actually don't want him to move out yet. Uh, so, uh, you know what, not test. I'm gonna put tutorial, so I know what it means. And uh, so I'm just going to save. And that will create like a separate save so it doesn't overwrite the save that I already have so it doesn't affect it. So I can just go and delete this and then go back to the previous save if that makes sense too. I don't know, maybe I need to do a separate tutorial on how I do all my saves. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I just wait for this to save real quick. So once my game is saved, then I click back over to the options menu and go to the main menu. And since I already saved my town, I'm just gonna click no. Okay, so I am here at the main menu, and as you can see, I have all my multiple saves here. Uh, so this is my most recent save right here, is the Calvin Family tutorial one, obviously that we saw. And as you can see, Calvin, or not Calvin, uh, Parker is not in there. So what I do is go and click on a new game, and then I just choose the world that I wanna put Parker or whatever sim in. So for now, um, I'll just load up, I don't even know. Let's go to, I don't know, we'll go to Ann Arbor. This is my first one on here. We'll go there. And, and then I wait for the world to load. Sorry, it's like a bunch of cutting and skipping around, but this is just, you know, what I do and I don't wanna make you guys sit here while my entire game loads. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm in the world that I loaded up. This is Ann Arbor, by the way, by My Sim Realty. Love this world. Oh, it is so gorgeous. It makes me want to go and play it. Look how big it is. We have like the city side. Okay, um, this isn't a world tour. Anyways, so <laughs> Ann Arbor. I will link it down below in the description bar if you guys want to go download it. It's a gorgeous world. Definitely recommend it. Anyways, so what I want to do is go into the move-in household or I can go into edit town. I think... 
I'm just gonna do move in household. Either one is totally fine, and you can move a sim in either way. Not a big deal. Um, so as you can see, I have Parker here chilling in, you know, the little, there in the little library, and now I get to choose his house. So I will just choose a random, we'll just choose this apartment right here. It looks cool. We'll get it furnished. Why not? Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll purchase the house and then click let's play. And then, of course, it has to do with loading thing and get everything situated. Okay, so my game will load up and then it wants me to, you know, adjust all my mods. We get all this university life stuff. I can't show you guys Parker too close up. Don't look at him, okay? He just recently aged up. Anyways, here's the apartment. We're gonna, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Ooh. Oh, though. No. Okay, anyways, oh, now I wanna go decorate, I wanna play, but he's not ready to be played yet uh, separately. But anyway, so then this is it. This is basically it. I will go in, then I later go in and save my game, and then I have a separate save. So I will show you guys that real quick. So I'm gonna save my game, I'll be like, tutorial Parker, save my game. And once it creates a save file, then I will have, you know, multiple save files. And then I can go in and play all my Sims. It's really honestly that easy. It's not too big of a deal. And that's just how I go and play all the other Sims. Um, I always, almost always move them all to different worlds so that I can sp play them specifically without everything else time elapsing while I'm not being able to control the Sims. Cause you know, I'm a control freak like that. And I want to control every aspect of all my Sims lives. And now I have like 20 million save files of Sims, <laughs> uh, but that's, yeah, pretty much what I do. Okay, so I'm back here in the main menu. I just wanted to show you guys like really what I do. So I rotate all my families and I have a certain rotation schedule that I do that for and everything. Uh, that's like a whole nother complicated process. I'm totally not going to explain to you guys because it really doesn't matter for you guys. Uh, you guys would just need to create your own rotation schedule. But I have all my Sims here. This is multiple saves of the Calvin family. I have Calvin and Emery family right here. I have multiple saves. Um, I save frequently and create new save files every time that I save because uh, if my game gets corrupted or something, I can go back to an older save. And I usually keep about three of them. Uh, and then keep deleting them as I go. So as you can see here, this is before the Emory family, uh, the triplets aged up, and then this is after. Uh, and so I can go back and actually play this again if I wanted to. Um, and so then I have all my families here in my current household uh, game, and I just have all of them, and they're all chilling here. This is an old family. This is a really old family. I have to show you guys them sometime. But anyway, so I have all my save files here. And I rotate through them on a certain schedule that I have to make sure that their, their ages all stay aligned properly. Like how I did this with the Calvin and Emery family, they, these two and this one is from different families. And so what I did is just save them to the library and start a completely new save and move them all together into a place all together, uh, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's like really honestly what I do. It's not a complicated process. I know it may seem complicated in like the way that I play my game and stuff, but with having multiple saves and moving my Sims out and stuff, this is just how I do it. I, this is where I do their photo shoots. Hey, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's like a little, you know, a little sneak peek or behind the scenes access into what I do to have my multiple current household families. Uh, if that, if you guys have any questions, definitely comment them down below. I can still answer questions, of course, but I think from now on, uh, any comments that I get asking how I split up my families and all my save files, I will probably either just link you to this video or I might just not respond. And I feel really bad for doing that, but I can't keep replying to the same question over and over. So hopefully this video helps you out though. And hopefully it all made sense. It really isn't really isn't at all too complicated, but if you guys have any questions, again, just let me know and I will try my best to answer them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys.